Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video from me. Thanks so much for joining me and today I'm going to share with you how I created this cute little underwater scene using a smushing technique with Distress Oxides for the background, this fabulous fish set from Lavinia, some stencils, some more stamping and sea bubbles. We'll get started. The card size that I'm using is 10 and a half centimeters by 14 and a half centimeters. The colors of Distress Oxides that I'm using are Mustard Seed, Cracked Pistachio, and Salty Ocean. And these two colors give a beautiful underwater look. I'm also going to be using some Versafine Clairs for the stamping. I'm using Warm Breeze, Paradise, and twilight and again these two particularly make lovely underwater scenes. I'm also going to be using a couple of stencils Flora and Elegance and I may include pebbles as well. So I'm going to take my Distress Oxides, I'm starting with Mustard Seed, then I'm going to go in with Cracked Pistachio and Salty Ocean and I'm just slightly twisting the ink pad on the mat as I do it. That gives me enough ink. I'm going to take my spritzy bottle and make sure that they're quite well watered down. And I'm going to take my piece of card and I'm just going to smush it, smush these beautiful colours over my card. What I want is, as I want a patch of yellow, and then the rest just have a play. Don't have to be too stressed about this because it really doesn't matter because we're going to create lots of texture on top of it. I quite like that. So we, actually, we wouldn't waste this. We would use this, mop it up on a separate card. I might just do that right now. It's so much fun, so long as you're not precious about the outcome, because every single time you do this, it turns out differently. So here we have it. It's dried. I let it dry on its own, but you can dry it with a heat gun. And I'm going to keep this yellow part to the left hand side. That way the fish are floating towards the light. I'm going to take my first stencil, Flora pop it down there and I'm going to take my Distress Oxide Salty Ocean and I'm just going to create some texture here in the background. You can see I'm not taping the stencil down, we don't need to. Keeping the sponge moving so we get just a little background of the stencil. This is a beautiful stencil, they looked like, look at that, isn't that fun? That's all we're going to do on the stenciling right now. And then I'm going to take Urchins, this stamp Urchins, it's lovely, lovely. And I'm going to ink it up using Paradise. The detail on this stamp is amazing, amazing, you'll see when I stamp it. The right way up and I'm just going to stamp it really close to the bottom in between the edge of the card and my stenciling. Then I'm going to take one of my favourites for underwater scenes which is called Sea Tangle and I'm going to take Warm Breeze. This is a lovely colour again for underwater scenes. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to stamp it halfway up the card on this side. And a little way up the card on this side. So it looks as though the urchins are nestled between this 
stenciling and my stamping. But I am going to put another couple of Sea Tangles second generation. Oh, that one didn't want to come out. In between. There we go. So we sort of have this lovely busy look at the bottom of the ocean. I'm then going to take these two cute little stamps in the fish set and I'm going to use Twilight. This is a gorgeous like a midnight blue And I'm going to stamp them as though they're just coming out from the tangled seaweed. And my other one, he's even funkier. Again, inking him up in the twilight. And I'm going to put him, I'm going to put them each at different heights. Now I saw someone in one of the groups talking about the fact that they were stamping and it didn't come out. So one thing I will do is, is I will use a stamping platform if it's a very dense stamp or where there's got a lot of detail in it. That way you can flip, re-stamp, re-stamp. Or I use some several sheets of copy paper and I've got a stamping mat underneath here. It's a bit of a squishy mat and it just helps take some of that pressure as you're stamping. So I hope that helps. I'm then going to take my sea bubble stamp. Love, love, love this one. Back with my sea breeze. And I'm just going to tear off a piece of paper here, you'll see why in a second. Let's get rid of that one. And I want these bubbles to look as though they are popping out of the fish's mouth. So I'm going to do that. Again, inking it up again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some extra bubbles because there are often bubbles in the bottom of the sea coming up from the urchins. And these are second generation so they just look very soft in the background there. Lovely, I like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this elegant stencil and pop it right over the top here. And I'm going to take a cracked pistachio And I'm just going to create a bit of extra texture around the top of my card. This is cracked pistachio through this stencil. Love this stencil. Makes perfect background for... You just want a hint of this. It's not as if you're going to frame it with the card just creating a bit more interest and texture there. I think I want to come, ha ha, this is now you've got to line it up again. 
Note to self, do not remove the stencil until you are fully sure <laughs> that you have finished. I just want a bit of extra, there we go, interest around the side here. And because I can, I'm just going to pop one extra piece, there we go, in the centre. And finally what I'm going to do is just create a bit more interest in some of these urchins at the bottom here. Bring back my inky mess. What I would do is I will take Salty Ocean, smush it on my mat, let me put this behind so you can see what I'm doing here, with my paintbrush. I'm just going to paint a little bit. You can see I'm just dabbing, I'm not colouring in the whole image because the light will catch these images in different ways. So you just want to create a tiny bit of interest, tiny bit of extra colour on these sea urchins. There we go. I'm also going to take a bit of cracked pistachio. And I'm just going to play. This is playtime. And it doesn't really look as though you're doing anything here because the colours are all the same. However, You'll see when we put it together, it just adds a tiny bit more interest over the whole thing. I'm going to go in with my yellow mustard seed and this is the sand. These are the little, tiny little pebbles underneath the urchins at the bottom of the sea. And finally back in with my salty ocean to join up the space between the pebbles and the bottom of your card. Voila! And now we're going to mount it. I always like to mount with a darker colour behind it and I'll come back to you in a moment. So here we are. I've matted and mounted my little underwater scene with some dark blue around the edge and then a white card that flips this way. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to see what you make and your take on this. Bye for now.